Hi, welcome to Ibad Worse, and today we're off to the Black Sheep Brewery, and this is their milk stout. Thinking about it, the only other milk stout I've had was Mackerson's, uh, little 330ml cans, 2.8. Um, and very enjoyable. So I'm really interested to know what this tastes like. This is a 4.4 500ml bottle, so I'm expecting a slightly bigger flavour. But I really don't know what to expect. Um, this came as part of a beer box I got from Morrison's. Um, and I tend not to do all of one brewery, you know, review every single bottle because people get a bit bored. Um, so some of the other comments I had said that people found, or some people found, that black sheep were a little inconsistent. Um, I didn't. I enjoyed every beer I had. Um, so, mm, I mean, certainly this one is a 2019 um, World Beer Awards U U UK winner uh, and an international 2019 international winner. So that doesn't sound to me to be inconsistent but you know they I've not had it on tap uh, you know I've only had uh, black sheep bottles um, you know and the ones I've had have been okay let me know what you think um, you know beer is a living thing some people will tell you that they don't think that it travels you know further than 10 miles down the road waffling let's get this open so milk stout expecting something that's engine oil black I could make a hash of pouring a glass of water. Could I give really water could. Ahead. <laughs> yeah, I could give water ahead. Should we just let that settle while we admire the artwork of the bottle? And it is really, I do quite like that. Lovely sort of monochrome there. <clears throat> while I wait for the head to dissipate. Okay. I'll top up again in a minute. Okay. So we have engine oil black. Even under the lights, there's hardly anything bleeding through. Go to the patent colour board. There you go. That's something that comes out of your sump. Okay, we've got a lovely, creamy, very large head. Very surprised bottles produce such large heads. Okay, let's give it a sniff. So, coffee reminds me of Peyton. My grandmother used to live in Peyton and down on the seafront there was a cafe sort of overlooking the seawall. Used to go down there all times of the year and usually uh, in the winter as well when the, the sea is lashing uh, the seafront there and you get you know warming up there with your milky coffee and that's that lovely smell that I'm getting there. Okay so let's see what she tastes like. So first thing is a quite a thin mouthfeel. I was expecting something with a bit more of a body on the on the mouth, but no. Unusual carbonation on the tongue as well, fizzy, which is not something I normally associate with a beer. Really, that sort of yeah, like a um. And you get, guys are going to think I'm weird, but you're like, like you're eating homemade jam that's on the turn that's gone a bit fizzy. That sort of biting, not overly gassy, but okay. Oh, thunder. Thunder. Okay. I don't know why I'm holding that up again. Just to see if there's no... <laughs> Check that the head's gone. <laughs> black as you like. Well... What's that thunder rattled me that did? What's that black thunder? I shall put a link. Black storm. What did I say? Black thunder. Black thunder. Yes, I reviewed a cider called Black Storm. And Black Th no, Black Storm. <laughs> Madam Director's gonna give me the sack soon. You you'll get a whole new presenter. So that coffee is gentle, it's Moorish. 
I'm not picking up many of the flavours. Now, I try not to read the back of the bottle because, you know, flavour notes, they sort of trigger things in the mind. Uh, and it does say, um, award-winning silky creamy stout. So I've had, yeah, no, that little bit of fizz on the tongue. And I, it is in date, April 20, uh, April 22. So it's well in date. Uh, notes of chocolate. More coffee for me, vanilla and coffee. Oh, pardon me. Brewed with lactose, robust malt, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, mmm, satisfying sweetness that cuts against the light bitterness. I'm not getting any of that. There's no sweetness there for me. It's a gentle coffee. I'm not picking up any of the chocolate. A little bit of vanilla, but now I've read it, have I been triggered? Okay, can I recommend this? Out of interest, I think I'm not going to say, oh wow, you've got to try this, because for me, I'd like that mouthfeel to be a bit thicker. If that mouthfeel was thicker, it would add to the silkiness, and I think, you know, it would add to the interest for me. And it, that unusual fizz. So yeah, so that's... Am I going to recommend it? Out of interest only. It's that unusual fizziness um, that shouldn't be there in a beer. It's, 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 mm, it's hard to describe. Hard to describe, but me no likey. Okay, not a bad flavour, would be improved with a thicker mouthfeel and if they could remove that unusual fizzy carbonation. I mean, it's not gassy, you can see it's not, well, it's black, so I can't see if it's rolling up there, but it is an unusual fizz. Okay, there you go. Um, so perhaps those people who said that this was inconsistent, are they, are they, are they correct? Are they right? Hmm. Tell me what you think. What do I know? Okay, there you go. Black sheep, milk stout. Interesting. Cheers.